here's what I've learned from my last 20 years of interactions with people. One, introverts suck. And two, uh, I'm an introvert. <laughs> Oh, what a what a curveball. Mm -hmm. Yep, it's true. I am by no means a conversationalist. You know what, now that I think about it, since I'm an introvert too, I guess a, a better title would be like sucky things about being an introvert. You know, actually, matter of fact. Hey, hey, run the run the title card like one more time. Yeah, like run run it one more. Yeah, run it, run it. Okay, that's better. Oh, and before some of you guys have already been watching me, um, expose me. At the end of each video, yes, I do in fact run up on complete strangers looking for interviews, like a homeless man asking for a dollar fifty. Um, let me let me explain real quick. Uh, doing that is a uh, fucking terrifying. Finding people to interview is basically like scouting out what flavor of social judgment I want. I wouldn't say I'm shy though, even though the first definition of introvert on dictionary.com is shy. Come on, dictionary.com, be smart here. I mean, not all introverts are necessarily quaking in their boots each time they're having an interaction. By definition, we just rather not have one Period. Whether that be because we're simply frightened by the idea of speaking to another human, or because we're frightened of the idea of another human sucking up the next 10 minutes of your free time with a story about their dog. It all falls in the same wheelhouse. And you know what? There's nothing wrong with that. We're beautiful, majestic creatures. Even though society shuns introverts because they don't necessarily like talking to people, they overthink, and they'd rather stay inside watching internet videos than actually go out with their friends. I definitely don't see a problem with the last one, BT dubs. But not wanting to speak isn't what one would exactly call beneficial, per se. Like, you know the saying, uh, closed mouths don't get fed? A lot of us are, um, starving. A uh, real life example, I have literally debated going hungry for the night because I didn't want to have to talk to, uh, the pizza guy. Not, not a good night for me, by the way. It's just that I'd rather keep to myself sometimes rather than have to talk to some random dude in a Domino's uniform, albeit, um, carrying delicious pizza. Also, I didn't mean for that expression to actually be about food, it was just supposed to be, like, about life, but I, I guess I'm, I'm just really hungry while I'm recording this. Here's another, um, let's insert our average introvert in a class with participation credit. Lord forbid the teacher assigns a group project. Let's not, let's not even start about that. And then there's friends. Friends you've literally blown off because you're laying in bed doing nothing. And let's not forget to mention that introverts love to overthink. In social situations, we take the most methodical, strategic steps to figure out what to say and how to say it and why. Probably resulting in us being silent for nine seconds straight when being prompted with a question. But um, yeah, there's some sucky negatives to being an introvert. But that's just my opinion. So let's ask the public. Would you consider yourself more of an introvert or an extrovert? Am I extrovert? Yeah. You gotta ask people if you are an extrovert <laughs> or not. I consider myself more of an extrovert. Definitely an extrovert. Oh, an extrovert. E extrovert. Everybody we've asked is an extrovert. This is a terrible idea. I would say I'm a mixture of both, just depending on certain things. So like perfectly even, no differentiation yeah. at all. Yeah. How you feeling now? Uh, kind of tired, so not very social. <laughs> Introverted. I see how this is. All right, and the inner. Do you think there's more cons to being an extrovert or introvert? Probably ex extrovert. Extrovert. I think you can get a little bit from both to be honest. Like being shy, you kind of miss out on certain opportunities. People that's introverts actually, you know, prove themselves better and have higher intelligence. You're you're the marginalized. Yeah, because sometimes <laughs> if you're more out there, more outgoing, it might get you in trouble in some certain certain senses. You don't really know who to trust, so that's why you have to be an introvert. Things can get weird. Like like, like what? You can just get awkward, you know, because you're like too out there and then you're like, oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. oh, oh. What's good, y'all? I'm in San Antonio, Texas, and it's fantastic out here. But thanks for watching. If you like the video, drop a like. Let me know in the comment section if you're an introvert or an extrovert. And share the video with somebody who you think is an introvert or an extrovert and who would like this. Once again, thank you to all the newbies for over 5,000, now over 7,000 subscribers. Welcome to the fam. It's crazy. Y'all are changing my life, man. And I'm so sorry for the live stream issues. I will have another one when I am not traveling. But yeah, that's about it. Uh, thanks for watching. Make sure you like, share, subscribe. We outie.